Assalamu alaikum, I'm Hina Ijaz. Welcome to Pakistan. Today we are welcoming a very, very special guest from a neighboring country, from India. It's the first time in Welcome to Pakistan's show in an episode we have a guest from India. Like I said, she's a very special uh, guest because she's a fellow journalist. And uh, when we talk about journalists, I think we're one community and there are no borders in between. And we have Kanika Gupta with us. Hi, Kanika. How are you? Hi, thank Welcome you to Pakistan. Good. Thank you very much and thank you for having me here. Well, I hope you're having a lovely time. It's been four days so far. Yes. I hope the rest of the, six, the next six days are even better for you. We yes. shall talk about that and your first impressions here. Uh, but before that, let me introduce uh, you, a, a Pakistani guest. We have with us Adnan Bajwa. Adnan Bajwa has started a very, very interesting group. Uh, well, he calls it a non-profit organization. He's trying to formalize it. It's something that started on WhatsApp. And now they have 300 plus members from Pakistan, from different ethnicities and religions. So what is this exactly about? Uh, it's called Bazme Alam. Bazme Alam started um, when, how, how did the idea come about? It's, an, it's a non-profit organization to promote interfaith and intercultural harmony. What a wonderful task he's taken up. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. for inviting me and for having me here. Uh, yes, we initiated this in 2016. I was a university student since studying in English literature and applied linguistics uh, from a local university here in Lahore. So uh, at that time, uh, I belonged to, I mean, I, I came from a village. So there was so much. Uh, Which village in Pakistan? Shekhupura. Okay, you're from Shekhupura. Yes. So sure. then you moved to Lahore. I was actually born in Lahore, then uh, okay. went to... Okay, it happened uh, the other way around. Yes, so I am a Lahori. I call okay. myself Lahori. I, in fact, I get offended if people don't consider me Lahori. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm because, sorry. Did I offend no, no, you I'm so just sorry. now? <laughs> uh, it's, it's on a lighter note. It's many right. years I've been representing and advocating Lahore. So I, I feel proud to be a Lahori. So anyways, uh, there were so many questions which was uh, at that time considered as controversial questions. Uh, initially, it was about my own uh, uh, sect, which is which sect is good or which sect is, is, is right. We initiated it from uh, Bazme Dino Dunia. Well, Kanika, India is world's most populous democracy, a large country indeed. Yes. And uh, so beautiful, so many variations that you see there. Pakistan has a lot of similarities, it's just that we've been bordered. <laughs> well, right. we have mountains, we have rivers, so do you. We have four seasons, isn't that lovely? Absolutely. So how much of a difference did you find between in uh, between Pakistan and India upon arri upon arrival? I must say. I think, uh, to be honest, I did not feel any difference at all, and <laughs> that was a tad disappointing. <laughs> I have worked so hard to come here, and I'm like, why? Oh, it's it's is... not much. It's not really different. No, and I'm like, this is supposed to look different. This is not. This is home. I mean, it feels like home. It's How like lovely to hear that. It's it's literally like Delhi. The streets are like Delhi. It's it's. Uh, lined uh, by trees on both sides and the people talk the same way and they're so poetic and they're so nice they're so sweet it's there's no language barrier Delhi is I mean, poetic too i believe absolutely it feels like i'm home it does not feel different at all so you from delhi you were born there yes and you were raised there and you continue to live in delhi yes isn't it getting a little boring for you now? No, well, I think uh, the, the one thing that separates us from, uh, se separates Lahore from Delhi is the culture. I think there is a huge uh, cultural difference and uh, I see that in my daily interactions with people, as in when I'm meeting them more, as in when I'm visiting more places, I see that there is a lot of difference, as in at the face of it, maybe we can't see it. Maybe if I were to just cross from Lahore, I won't see it. But as in when I enter deeper and deeper into Lahore, I see that those differences are very much there and they are beautiful differences as in it's nothing it's something that I as as an outsider I'm celebrating it like you know you, there's so much poetry in the air the architecture is amazing I still see so many what all have you seen so far in four days oh. in Lahore <laughs> I haven't seen a lot because uh, the rain has been a spoil sport yes for me. but it's lovely isn't it <laughs> um, I beg to well not for a tourist <laughs> right now not for it but it, it stopped today so. it did, did so I did uh, sort of hightail uh, from Lahore to Kasur and I visited did uh, Bulesha Mazar. Which Amazing. Was beautiful. It was Amazing. so beautiful. It was 
reverberating with the sounds of uh, you know Kavali and it it just um, my heart did was Did you happen full. to see Data Darbar? I did. You did. No, not not Data Darbar. No, no did you Kavali. also go there? Yes, no. I will. She go has to go there. Yeah, we we are going to bring her tomorrow. <laughs> you have tomorrow, to, you tomorrow must. is completely planned for the Walled City. That's where we are. Oh, going so you're to going to go to the Walled City yes, tomorrow? Yes, I haven't been there. Well, yet. it's something not to be missed for sure. Absolutely. What about the food? What differences have you noticed? Um, the biggest difference I would say is that there is still a lot of pre-partition, uh, you know, buildings, architecture, structures still very much intact in Lahore, which I do not see in Delhi as much. Very sparsely, uh, you can spot there maybe one house there, and that too in old Delhi, scrunched, you know, in those tight lanes. But here, it's very much ingrained within the community, which is very, which is very heartwarming because I personally feel that that, you know, that era must be must be preserved. That's one thing that it I It has noticed. been and yeah. once you get to the wall city on the way when you see Pakistan post building and mm. all of those buildings uh, you'd be amazed how everything how be has been well kept. Absolutely. So it'll be nice to see all of that I must say. But uh, coming back to food. Mm. So are you having a problem adjusting to the food here or no? no? No, I'm a non-vegetarian. So oh, you're a non-vegetarian. Yes. So there's no problem at all. <laughs> there's no problem at all. I am in fact very well adjusted to the food here already. But what I did you enjoy the most? Okay, so yesterday we were at this restaurant where we had um, halwa puri. That oh, was a very yum. different uh, combination that I've, that I've had at home but not the way they've served it here. I it mean, was different. It was very different. Again, yeah. highlight the differences. I'm very the interested difference in is, finding um, out. You know, the puri was a bit salty and uh -huh. the halwa was obviously very sweet. So the puri in India is more sweeter? No, puri in India is plain. Oh, it's plain. It's, it's also bland. salty, yeah, but we don't normally have it with halwa unless it's, uh, you know, we have a festival called Navratri. It's right. around that time is when we have it with halwa, but that's also with like, you it's know, Lahori's have halwa, halwa puri almost halwa daily. Puri. If yeah. you're living in the <laughs> uh, in the old city, on yeah. the old city side I of Lahore, if you're living there, people have a tradition of having halwa puri in halwa the morning puri. every day. I had oh, he took me uh, yesterday to an Arkali Bazaar where we had lassi and bun. That <laughs> apparently is also yes, Lahori, very popular here. Lahori breakfast and. That was a very different, unique combination because <laughs> I've never had a bun straight out of a packet and like like dip it in lassi Yeah, and literally. Have it. It's yeah. very different but it was good. It was... It's uh, energizing. <laughs> <laughs> it was and strangely warming too. I mean considering it was raining outside and the lassi is cold but it was very heartwarming to have that it's combination. It's comfort food. It's comfort Kanika, food. Yeah. It's comfort food. <laughs> it's comfort food. Nothing indeed. compares to it. <laughs> so, uh, you've seen some infrastructure so far. Yes. You've tasted the lassi and the bun and the halwa puri. That's yes. amazing. You have on your agenda now to visit the walled city. Yes. Are you planning to go towards the south part of the country? South. Karachi? No, I. Um, so India, when we apply from India to Pakistan, we have a very unique arrangement where we get visas on the basis of cities. So I just have three cities on my on and my visa. Those are those are Lahore, Islamabad, and uh, Peshawar. So you will be going to Islamabad. Yes, That'll yes. be another experience that's, that's altogether. That's my next well. stop. Yeah. That'll so be fun. Looking forward to experience your capital. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. One capital to the next. And yeah. I've been. I've heard a lot that it's greener. It's, it's uh, greener. Quieter. It's less populous. Yeah. And uh, you get to see the mountains from a distance, mm. so it's scenic too. Absolutely, and I've heard that it's very green and it's very, very quiet. So I think after Lahore's cacophony, I think I need that. Uh, You'll need it, that. I'll need a bit of a quiet peace time. and break, Absolutely. you know, in between. Looking forward. So to you it. shall be going to Peshawar as well. That's going to have another different flavor to the Absolutely. whole. That's, that's going to add another flavor mm. to the trip. The food there is really different. Yes, I have in a good way. I have heard of chapli kebabs that I'm really curious to try, and that I've heard is very good in Peshawar. They're the best. So, yeah, that's what I've heard, and I'm very curious to try those because they come highly recommended from everybody. Like if you're going to Peshawar, you have to have. You chapli. have to have that. You cannot leave. Uh, salt-based meat there. Exactly. That's very popular. It's yes. just made in salt and pepper. Yeah. It's got a very unique flavor to oh, it. Well, Kanika and Adnan. I shall be taking a short break and when we return, there's so much to talk about. Trust me, when you meet neighbours, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> but right after this short break. Tourism is as a mafil that we are having at the moment and Alam because... Urdu <laughs> bolte We just try to be. I would love to tell people that they have been very warm and welcoming and I have not felt unwelcomed at any given point so far and uh, it's been incredible and I'm very excited about my remaining days here, however little they are, but I'm very excited about it.
A very special guest from India today, Kanika Gupta, who's a journalist. And we have Adnan Bajwa. He is running a non-profit organization to promote interfaith and intercultural harmony. He started this on a WhatsApp group. Now he has three 100 plus members, that is amazing. Well, Kanika, uh, you are for sure having a good time. I see yes. you're you content, you're happy. Yes. You've been greeted nicely by Pakistanis and uh, you're loving the feel good factor here. Absolutely. Am I right? Yes, everybody has uh, extended a very warm welcome to me and uh, I have been, you know, flooded with invites and I'm so honoured but it's so unfortunate that I have very limited time on my hands otherwise I would literally meet everyone I could. There's always a next time. There's always we next hope time. that you do come back again. <laughs> so you tweeted about Pakistan. I did. You see the tweet uh, on the screen as well right now as I speak and uh, you said some very positive things about Pakistan, how well you've been greeted here, how positively you've been yes. welcomed here. So did you expect that? Yes, to be honest. I was very sure that when I come here, I will be treated and greeted in a very nice nice manner. I was, I did not have a second's doubt in my head that it would go any other way. Plus, I have been friends with Adnan for now over two years. I was just going to come to that. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you for making my job easier. <laughs> you are welcome. We are on the same side. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we've known each other for now three years and I know he was my first window into Pakistan. Like uh, this is the first time I met someone virtually uh, through when, when I had a very candid heart to heart conversation trying to understand the culture because we have literally no idea. I've never met a Pakistani before. Never? Never. You never. haven't uh, had an interaction with a Pakistani, somebody who's also visited no. Delhi? No. Never. Wow. It was very strange for me that. So how did someone... you cross paths here? So it was on Facebook uh, because I was looking for a way to come, and uh, we started talking about it, the difficulty of the process, and how cumbersome it is, and that's how we got to know each other. And then Kartarpur happened. You know, Kartarpur passage opened up, and we decided to meet there. So let's, you know, put a face to a name and a name to a face, and then we met there and. It was a beautiful conversation of three hours. He brought a lot of friends uh, along with him and we had very long chats, you know, about how they want to come there and how we want to come here. And I think that's where we found a common ground and our resolve solidified that, yes, she has to come to Pakistan. So amazing. That, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, and I'm so glad you took that leap of faith. I did. <laughs> so it's worth it, right? It, absolutely. I, ha I, I cannot thank people enough I mean since this is your uh, national TV I would love to tell people that they have been very warm and welcoming and I have not felt unwelcomed at any given point so far and uh, it's been incredible and I'm very excited about my remaining days here however little they are but I'm very excited about it and we hope that you do come back again because there's so, so much more to explore Absolutely. so have you been to the Vaga border have you seen the parade Yes, I have Vaga and from Vaga. your side. I have yes, and um, how? What was that feeling? Because you know, there's a lot of patriotism that just sparks mm. and explodes inside the human body. I, there's an adrenaline rush sudden, you know. It happens. I think from Vaga border, whenever I, I used to go there, to me, I always focused on that gate. You know, I'm, and I'm being very that, that will I be ever that, will be crossing I ever that? Be able to cross that? <laughs> and and literally the day I crossed it and it happened in in a jiffy and I was so disappointed because it was raining so much and they were and the closing ceremony 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 you was about to happen so to they were like to blow in the background or some music nothing play. happened <laughs> nothing happened like, just crossed the board. two seconds from here to there it was like a hop <laughs> and, they, and that was over I mean I was on the other side and and it did not feel different and then they, somebody just came picked my bags and we started walking deeper and deeper like, oh, Pakistan. it was like, easy really <laughs> Like this was supposed, there has to be some kind of thunderstorm, yeah. some kind of lightning. There has something. to be some theatrical works exactly. in the background. Something has to announce my arrival in Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are telling everyone, Kanika Gupta has arrived. <laughs> so Kanika, uh, you've been writing for a long time now. Yes. How long has it been? It's been a be uh, close to two years. Two years. Yeah. So, what's your main focus on? I believe so, this time we'll be writing about the tourism in Pakistan. Your experience. I'm, I'm not really hell bent on it because right now I'm just stopping and gradually exploring and soaking it in. I mean, it 
if it pops up i will write about it i mean it's not a given i did not come here on an assignment so it's not something that i'm going but to you're a journalist through. a journalist writes whenever he or she <laughs> yeah, goes yeah exactly but you know right now i this is my first visit and i want to keep a very very open mind and i don't right. want to clutter it with you know something like i don't want to go with an agenda anywhere and if along the way i find something worth writing about well then i'm a journalist you know then right. i have to have to write about it right. but so far i think i have been writing it in a very personal capacity like um, i have been sharing my experiences on social been. media very well, social very, media is a big big help absolutely i have been very vocal and very candid about whatever my experiences have been and in that capacity i will continue to share but well shobha de has been to pakistan she's been here many times and she's written about pakistan as well i have read plenty of pieces and i have never i think this is what i'm saying i'm sure this is not the first time you're hearing it you know yes. from an indian that we have been very warmly received the welcome was and you know it's the, the same thing when pakistanis go to india they receive the same warmth and uh, exactly. the positivity mm. uh, it's just people uh, to people it's it's just it's, how, how it's it's like human to human yes exactly i mean we don't i mean we are really curious to know what's happening on the other side they are very curious to know what's happening on the other side i mean it's just it's very natural you know because right. we don't get to travel that easily and i think when kartarpur border opened up i mean so many people were so eager to yes, go yes absolutely and uh, they have had their first hand experiences you know and uh, i think that this could be just the crack in the wall that we are waiting for absolutely absolutely <laughs> so and i can't wait to read now what you're going to write about Absol pakistan yeah, i'm sure it's going to be all positive but i i just can't wait to read I about your experiences you. here well adnan so uh, you formed this group Yes. Bazme Alam. Bazme Alam. How did the idea emerge? You mentioned that you had friends um, from different uh, ethnicities and religions in exactly. Pakistan. So probably you had something at the back of your mind then exactly. as a child and so that that evolved in the form of Bazme Alam. Yeah, Bazm is as a mafil that we are having at the moment and Alam Kafir because Kafir Urdu bolte hain. <laughs> Just try to be anyway. So uh, th that's why th that's how the the name emerged anyways. and then you just asked me earlier that how did we met actually yes. uh, so we we been, we were uh, organizing uh, different uh, uh, talks on various uh, topics we were inviting people from different sects and religions and regions uh, virtually or physically as well so the uh, main idea of every talk was to enlighten people uh, with the differences we were not teaching people that we are same no we are different and that's that's the beauty of us Uh, universe, uh, I mean, unity lies in diversity. So uh, th that's how we interacted. I interacted with some Indians there, and they started. Uh, they asked me that let's do a one-to-one -one session, one online session, and we organized an online session with the Park Bandhus there. There, right. there was another organization. So that's how we in, uh, we organized a virtual interaction with between Lahoris and Lucknowis uh, youngsters. It was oh, real. That, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was the first experience, and I met with Indians so closely, and uh, it it was a uh, for me it was a life changing moment. And then that's how we kept interacting with other other people as well. So I, now I have I mean more than hundred friends there in India. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, and more than hundred friends in India. Think, that's, yeah, that's amazing. What, as two people we've done you know i mean if someone who's coming from kartarpur and i any anyone who knows me is going to kartarpur i just almost always connect him, connect them to him because i want them to see you know get the real picture or i want them to experience the hospitality the, the way i have uh, been able from to from a non political angle yes exactly basically. very non political very people to people human to human contact and i know that he will bring in that uh, you know sense of positivity and sense of culture sense of you know and and he's very excited about sharing his culture you know so right. and i want someone from here whenever they are going there to meet someone who will be received in in with equal um, enthusiasm absolutely so he's met a lot of my friends i yeah, think yeah yeah i sent a lot of my friends so you have a, you have more than 100 friends i think yeah, you under my friends in figure. india and then uh, uh, in other countries as well so that's how I, i i started interacting with other people as well so this is the power of social media particularly i would like to enlighten Uh, I have friends in more than 35 countries just sitting here in Lahore and I have never been to, uh, uh, on any international visit ever before. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. They so. are coming here because of you know. So, so that's, uh, that's before Kanika before that you're doing. before Kanika so that's how I I advocate and I represent Lahore particularly. So I tell people that I'm not not responsible for whole Pakistan. I'm responsible for Lahore. 
you cannot uh, be disappointed in Lahore. So I had been hosting people from India, America. You can never America, take Lahore out of Lahore. Uh, US, uh, British, uh, Irish, Chinese, uh, from many, many countries. So they were, um, this another friend of mine, uh, Siddharth Pandey, I would really like to mention it here. So he came here, he wrote about his uh, experiences in Lahore. So he came here and uh, he told me that to about 25 years ago, his father came for two days in Lahore. And it, it, it's been 25 years, his father has been telling stories about Lahore and it was his, his idea to, to come to Lahore. So he had a passport of uh, uh, UK as well. So he came from directly from Cambridge okay, so University. We, it was easier. It was easier for him. So he just said right. that I really wanted to fulfill my father's dream. That he, I wish he could he could stay longer. Absolutely. There's so much more to talk about Pakistan and India on the good side. But right after this short break. ये जो लाहौर से मोहब्बत है, ये किसी और से मोहब्बत है, और वो और तुम नहीं शायद मुझको जिस और से मोहब्बत है. And when you go to somebody's house, you gotta eat. Yeah. You have to eat. They take yeah. offense to that if you Poor do not spend. eat. You must have experience. You must have experience. We were fighting that who is gonna pay the bill. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're an Indian. This is a cake from us. Oh, your bill's been paid. I'm like, what? How lovely. Welcome back. Kanika, you plan to stay here for a couple, uh, for a few more days, yes. six days roughly. Yes. So you have Islamabad on your itinerary, you have, you've got Peshawar. So what all do you know about Peshawar? Before, you, I mean, did you research? Um, uh, well, not really, but I do know that uh, Peshawar has uh, Dilip Kumar ki haveli and Absolutely. Shah Rukh Khan ka ghar yes. and Karina Kapoor, sorry, Kapoor's ki haveli. Yes. So, I really want to see those and uh, maybe send some visuals home ki. That would be fun. <laughs> you get so I much, <laughs> you know, you get so many <laughs> likes on that on social media. I want to, I like, I want to tell them that, hey, see, I'm standing outside your house, open wow. the door. <laughs> so, that's one thing I really want to see then, I've, I, yeah, this is very interesting tradition I was reading about in Peshawar about the storytellers, uh, verbal storytellers. You know that they would uh, because it was there such a there are so many so many because you know that used to be the cross point uh, like a transit point from Central Asian countries. So you did your research. Friend. I did tiny bit, <laughs> and that's Kisakhani. one thing I was. Uh, Sorry. Kisakhani. Bazaar. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that those. I mean, I don't know the word. But those people, and I really want to meet some of them. I mean, I want to know, I want to maybe hear a story and uh, take back some very real experiences, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Like very cultural, deeply cultural, because something that I may or may not uh, experience back home. So this is something I am really rooting for. And I want to, uh, in Islamabad, I want to see Damaneko. 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 That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's a viewpoint, I yes, think. Yes, yes. So, yeah, so I thought since I don't have the time to see the complete Islamabad. It's a short drive from Islamabad yeah, on is. the hills, like 15 minutes you'll okay, be there. Okay, so even better. So That and Saidpur village. Saidpur. Saidpur is fun. Yeah? Yeah, you have these traditional Colourful uh, restaurants. Oh, wow. You know, floor seating. Mm. And uh, some regional food. It's a model village, right? Yes, I mean, that's yes, something that has been yes. built. But it looks so beautiful in pictures. It's gorgeous. Like, what what sort of village is this? It's an experience, seeing? I'd say. Yeah. It's an experience that you've got to experience. And that's these are the two things. I think I'll just have enough time to see these two places. But I'm really hoping. You know, the weather really supports your trip right now. Apart from the rain, mm -hmm. because when it's hot, you know, when it's hot yeah, it's in impossible. our part of the world, yeah. it it gets really impossible. tough. <laughs> Travel becomes difficult. So, I hope there's no fog on the motorway when, when you're traveling. Yeah, not, not these days. I hope not. I yes. mean, today. Oh, the, the rain flared it up. Let's yes. not forget that. Yeah, yes. yeah. I'm, I'm, because from tomorrow onwards, it's going to be sunny. So, I'm just hoping that for the next six days, I get to see everything in HD. Because apparently, <laughs> the skies have cleared, the, the, the pollution has been washed off. So, now I want to see everything in high definition. So, that's what I'm hoping for. Right. So, right. coming here, uh, the, uh, the Urdu language, you see. Uh, when you go to Karachi, of course, you hear some khas Urdu and uh, because that's predominantly uh, an Urdu speaking area, mm -hmm. an Urdu speaking city. You do have many other ethnicities there for sure. You have Pathans there, you have Punjabis there, you have Balochis there, uh, but and Sindhis of course and Urdu speaking. There's so much, there's such a mix there. Mm -hmm. And you also see Gujarati, Mimni and all of these, you hear all these languages too. But in Lahore specifically, it's Mainly, mainly Punjabi, yeah. but you do hear some very khas Urdu here also. Mm. 
did you come across any so, people my father is from punjab so i have had literally no problem uh, so you're a punjabi punjabi so yeah. this is so similar <laughs> so i'm able to understand i can't speak unfortunately but i can definitely understand what they're saying but in urdu mujhe samajh nahi aati nahi aati we we had been like hindi please hindi we had been sharing uh, poetry and stuff uh, yeah. like that and we were telling and teaching her how the uh, what, what is the meaning of these uh, sentences yeah. Right. So I was telling that uh, why the, 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 this current weather of Lahore is important in poetry, particularly. So this is the city of literature, particularly. So that's why this weather is very, very important. And I, I hope that you remember that I told you that whenever you'll be here in Pakistan, you'll be welcomed as a celebrity. You didn't believe that at that time. Yeah, Nan ka to bada hi shairana mizaj hai. Kafi zada. He starts and ends with the poetry. Ji ko khayal likh lete hain, keh lete hain. लाहौर शहर से और शायरी जबरदस्त वेरी फेमस शेर यू मस्ट हर्ड ये जो लाहौर से मोहब्बत है ये किसी और से मोहब्बत है और वो और तुम नहीं शायद मुझको जिस और से मोहब्बत है वाह वाह मेरे तो सर से गुजर गए ठीक है इसे मुझे कई बार समझाया ठीक है ठीक है पता नहीं किसी और से और से कुछ समझ नहीं आया मुझे लेकिन चले वेरी गुड आपको भी लगा होगा यहाँ पे मतलब we are very cultured yes, yes very <laughs> cultured and and you have this uh, very beautiful tradition of you know making an outsider feel like you know they are one of you the lahori is uh, i tell you they, they pass the test <laughs> they do they do. for me they do one of i'm from karachi but i wouldn't vouch for that in karachi but lahori is for sure the hospitality oh my god Really? Oh my god no offense to Karachi I I mean wonderful but Lahore is too have that <laughs> that when you go to somebody's house you got to eat uh, you have to eat they take yeah. offense to that if you Poor do not spend. eat you must have experience you must have experience we were fighting that who is going to pay the bill yeah. uh, all the time here yeah i i, I was like laughing no you this. can't pay kanika yeah, sorry that's no, so again, funny I, I, i exchanged my you know my dollar and i have this pakistani rupee and i don't know what to do with it because i'm not able to spend my money i want to spend my money like i it's of no use No, you're our guest. Here. We don't allow that. <laughs> so And I'm like, what do I do with my money? I mean, should I just probably give it away to so somebody? So whatever the capacity they have, they they had been doing uh, amazingly. So the other day, she was in a bus. So the, the bus yeah. conductor. I mean, what can he offer? So he didn't uh, he charge didn't for the ticket. He, he said, "You know, you are a guest." Oh, I was at Park Tea House the other day, and uh, someone. I mean, we were just chatting me and this other friend, and then someone was sitting in. Uh, you know behind me and like on the other table and they overheard that i am an indian and it's like oh you're an indian this is a cake from us oh your bills been paid i'm like what how lovely I and you know if you go up north yeah. towards that area you actually get you know free gifts from shopkeepers and things oh, like that if they hear so sweet that uh, you're visiting you're a tourist mm. and i'm sure they'd be very happy to hear you from Many india celebrities have acknowledged this that the people in andrun lahore they don't charge them for, they for anything they do yes yes So that's a fact. That's and then we don't have to tell them that I'm an Indian <laughs> because I want to start paying. So you people. have received that uh, celebrity yes. wala swag and the, because people had been call, calling me and asking me that we want to meet so I had to How lovely. To that manage. I've been I have received an overwhelming response and I cannot thank them enough. It's been um, it's been an incredible 4 days that I've spent here and Not for a second have I felt like कि मेरे पास company नहीं है या मेरे पास बात करने के लिए कोई नहीं है. Or you're an outsider. Or I'm an outsider. That's the most important thing. Like I've literally felt like I've come from one home to another. So well, welcome just, to Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> on that note, I'm going to end the show, but I'm going to continue my conversation with Kanika here because there's so much in common, and I'd like to thank you. Thank and you. I hope you do come and visit Pakistan again. Absolutely. This should not be your first and last time here. No, and definitely not. And thank you so not. much, Adnan, and thank I wish you very all much. the best with your venture, with the project. uh it's beautiful it's a it's a great thing you're doing it's a great deed i must say indeed so on that note thank you so much i shall see you next week same time on discover pakistan